Thank you so much for joining us at 6 o'clock. We're learning more about the crime spree of this Goshen man you see running across 71 there who tried to take off in a squad car and ran in front of those cars on both the northbound and southbound lanes of 71. What a sight that was. It started with an attempted carjacking on Redding Road. And tonight, a Price Hill driver says he was heading to pick his daughter up from school when he was stopped by the man who appeared to have a gun. Nine on your side's Tom McKee talked with this driver and is live with his cool, calm, and collected account. Impressive, Tom. Well, that certainly is. And you'd think that someone was nearly carjacked by Zachary Cox, who's locked up here tonight, would be rather nervous, but not Joe Picorni. As you said, he was headed to pick up his, excuse me, he was headed to pick up his daughter after school when he stopped at Reading and Elsinore. And for the next three minutes, everything changed and was very, very emotional. Joe Picorni was all business Tuesday installing a new door at the home of a friend. But his mind often wandered back to Monday when a man suddenly popped out of woods alongside the road. I thought he was going to continue across. When I realized he was stopping right in front of me, I had to jam on my brakes. Next thing I know, he was climbing in my van and telling me to drive. That man was Zachary Cox, who ordered Picorni to drive up Reading Road. I said, are you kidding? Because I thought he was like part of an accident. And he said, I have a gun. So I started moving at least a little slowly because I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. Picorni drove just a short distance, maybe 50 yards. He said, go faster. I said, no. We continued to slow down. I tried to get off because there was traffic moving around. As we were about stopped, he said, get out. I said, no. And he got out and headed on his way. At that point, police say Cox tried to steal a police cruiser, but there were no keys. Officers shot a taser at him but missed, and he continued on foot across I-71. Cox was captured after a short foot pursuit and a shot from the taser of a different officer. Lieutenant Bruce Hoffbauer heads the Cincinnati Police Traffic Section. He never really gave any explanation. Uh, he is he was impaired. Now I don't know if it's drugs, alcohol, or both, but there definitely is some sort of impairment. But looking back, Picorni says he didn't feel threatened, despite Cox saying he had a gun. He said he did, but I don't believe he did. Uh, he had his hand in under his shirt, which looked more like his finger. I wasn't going to test the theory, but uh, I wasn't, also wasn't, you know, really fearful that he was about to shoot me. Again, cool, calm, and collected. I suggested that Joe might have had something very interesting to talk about around the dinner table that night, but what he told me was simply this. We all need something to happen during the day. How true. Tom McKean, not on your side, live downtown. <laughs>